Mr. Geo here on Saturday. It's April, and we are at Chiller with the beautiful and winner of the 2013 Exotica Fanny Most Valuable Vagina Award, the gorgeous Gianna Michaels. How are you doing, Gianna? I am awesome. How did it feel when you won that award, by the way? Well, I definitely wasn't expecting it, but hey, um, I, I was kind of in shock in all honesty, but I was like very appreciative to the fans because it was a fan-based um, award system. So I kind of wasn't expecting it, but I really had a lot of love for my fans and I was like, wow, you guys go hard. So definitely, definitely we'll start it off with that. Thank you to all my fans for making my career so um, consistent and just able to be available for you and everything to that effect. So. Thank you. All right. What made you want to get into the business? You know what? It was coincidence, in all honesty. Um, I had moved to California, and I was walking to my 9 to 5 in fucking 115-degree weather, and um, uh, an agent continuously approached me in regards to modeling. And then once I finally talked to him, it turned in, modeling turned into, you know, nude photos and nude photos. The conversation turned into, you know, pornography and everything to that effect. So it kind of just... Fell into my lap. <laughs> right. So how was it the first time you shot? Um, I thought I was going to be nervous. And I was like, oh, God, what am I doing? You know what I mean? Like, maybe this isn't for me. Like, uh, just didn't really know. I was like, you know, when the booking came through and everything to that effect, I, I, I was like, a million things ran through my mind, those being a couple of the thoughts and everything. And then when I had got there and I... You know, I was just like getting ready. The little red light went on and everything to that effect. Um, I forgot the camera was there. Um, just completely had a great time. And I, I didn't feel any form of like regret or remorse or anything to that effect. I completely just had a fucking blast, literally. <laughs> <laughs> so what have you noticed from when you started? What have you noticed in the changes in the industry? Um, There's definitely, uh, I feel like it's a lot harder for the girls to make their name as as big, you know what I mean? Like, um, just like porn star, ultimately, or something to that effect. Uh, I feel like the, the work maybe is a lot more scarce, or I, I, I don't know specifically, as I'm currently not filming for production companies and everything okay. to that effect. I don't know what a lot of the models are are going through specifically, but I, I, I will say just in regards to viewing from an outside, like um, I remember when I, so many big, like, you know, the girls that were all coming up the same time as me, everybody really made a name for themselves. And I've met a lot of girls and stuff like that since then. And, you know, they're, they're continuing to, to move forward in that manner. So maybe it's just in regards to the amount of time that it took then as opposed to maybe what it's taking now and obviously that's just coming from an outside perspective I'm not hundred percent certain okay what were your favorite types of scene scenes to shoot the fucking ones <laughs> Any preference um, maybe like anal or um, one guy one guy two girls you know what the ones that I really 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 liked were the ones that um with the passionate lovers like the ones that you know, you look into their eyes and you just fucking like melts and you, you get you get it all. It's like all the different when they provoke emotion. I really enjoyed the scenes where the my co-stars and I were able to provoke emotion within each other and we were able to give our best performance. Were there any performers that you enjoyed the most working with? Man, there's a list. I would have to say that um Everybody that I've worked with or had the pleasure of being co-star for, um, I definitely enjoyed in some manner. You know what I mean? Like, whether, no matter what it may have been, like, I, I truly enjoyed it. I would have to say that my list of people that, or, or performances that didn't come out in the manner that I would like them to is, is like this. All right. So, ultimately, everybody, is that bad? Does that make me a... <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> um, what are you working on currently? Currently, I'm working on my site, GiannaXXX.com, okay. and I just launched a store, uh, GiannaXXXStore.com, where I sell my memorabilia. I sell um, 8x10 images, I sell custom videos, and additionally, um, like custom photo sets for my fans, more specific as opposed to working for production companies. I'm more so interacting directly with my fans at this time. 
So those would be some of the things that I am currently working on. Additionally, I feature dance um, and sometimes do a duo act with Sophie D. Oh, yeah. awesome, awesome. To a city near you. <laughs> How did you start working with Sophie D? Uh, we've been good friends throughout the years, and um, ultimately she was the one that kind of convinced me um, or presented the opportunity for me to feature dance. She had said, you know, hey, do you want to go feature dance and, you know, maybe um, check it out, see if you like it? And I always told her no, because I was like, oh, I don't know how to dance. I don't know how to dance on them kind of poles. <laughs> But then she was like, um, well, come with me, you know what I mean? And then see if you like it. And if you don't like it, then you don't have to do it. You know what I mean? So I went once with her and we've been dancing together since. And sometimes I'll go off on my own and she'll go off on her own and we'll get back together. Well, this being a horror convention, you worked on Piranha. How did you get involved with Piranha and how was shooting uh, Piranha? Piranha was awesome. Um, the opportunity kind of... Um, was last minute for myself because I believe originally they had a different model for the role that I had a, um, that I had for the role that I did. So ultimately there was somebody else and I think something had occurred where she was not able to make it and then I came out and filmed for the day and I had a blast. Like I had never parasailed. I had never like any of the stuff that was going on. There was so much um, and I wasn't sure what to expect obviously and everything went really good. And I, I thought I was going to be afraid of heights, and I'm fucking a million miles in the air by myself, strapped in, you know? And then it was just like, I'm glad I didn't get fucking stage fright, because that would have been a major fucking meltdown in the middle of the air, huh? Did you get to work with the special effects um, at all? Yes. How was Press that? And stuff like that. Um, that was a really cool experience. Definitely, uh, it, it, yeah. like with the green screens and all the different stuff and just the guys that were putting all the different makeup and prosthetics on me and stuff, um, it was hard to get off, uh -oh. but but um, it was a lot of fun. And the fake blood and everything, like it was real gory and nasty and they nice. did me up nice, exactly. Nice. So I apologize, as to not have it just be simply back and forth, I would love for it to be more back and forth. Yes. Um, are you a horror fan like to the heart. Yes, hardcore. Okay. Hardcore. Tell me about what are some of your favorite things. Wow, you turned the question on I me. I did because I, I, I tried to get you involved in the conversation on the last question. You went to the next one. So let's talk about you. All right, what are some of my favorites? Um I Night of the Living Dead, Reanimator, Aliens, uh, uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, Halloween. So when you come to conventions like Chilla, for instance, like what is your favorite thing to do? What do you have to do at the major horror conventions? Um, meet my favorite stars, uh, get autographs, get my stuff signed. I, I personally like, you know, because I have so many DVDs and Blu-rays at home, I like mm -hmm. getting their, my stuff signed. I got actually my Piranha signed by you a couple of years back at Exotica. So. Correct, but not at, at the um, at the Chiller Convention. No, no, no. To no. that effect. This is obviously something new for me and yeah. a different avenue, a different audience, and I, I'm definitely happy to be here also. So you're, you're enjoying being around the horror fans? Oh, for sure. For sure. Like, I, I can't wait till I get a couple minutes to myself and I'm going to walk around and I'm going to be like a kid in a candy shop in a big-ass bag and fucking oh, like... Oh, God. I, yeah. I blow so much cash at these conventions. It's oh, not I even funny. Imagine. I could imagine. Did you already get a chance to walk around and get some autographs from the people that you yes, like yes, to I watch? Did. Okay. Yes, I did. Very yes, cool. Yes, I did. I actually I have to cut myself off at some point always because I'm like, all right, I can't, can't blow all my cash. No. Well, hey, why not? Fuck it. You only no. live once. That's true. That's true. But you do have to eat. Hey, make sure you got enough money to get home and you'll figure out the rest later. That's a great point. Excellent. Yeah. I I approve. I yeah, approve. Me too. <laughs> I don't so know if we it. should. Let's go shopping. Yes, actually. <laughs> fuck that. <laughs> you are awesome. You are fucking awesome. Hey. You are the first person in years who's ever turned the questions on me. Oh, I appreciate that. Right on. <laughs> Definitely. I wish I had more questions. Like I got. I, I'm gonna walk around and and check out all the different stuff, and then, I, like, I feel like so uneducated here like i'm like oh wait i know that one but i don't know the name and like you know what i mean the different there's so many specifics and it's just like so much going on here and it's well, like, yeah it's like tv shows you got like the horror yeah. movies you got like the culture yeah you got everything is there anything you're into oh man like i feel like there's a lot of artists here there's a really cool fucking jewelry chick over there that i already bought a piece from and i'm gonna go get another one like all the different like unique like shit that's not commercially like doom 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 like, you know what I mean? Right, Everything right, right. exactly the same. It's very unique, and I'm enjoying that. And then, like I said, some of the stuff, I don't even know what the fuck it is, but it's so cool. The old movie posters, like like that kind of stuff, oh, I, I like. I love that stuff. Yeah. I love that stuff. Definitely. I'm going to find a couple for uh, my wall or something. I'm going to figure something out. We'll find somewhere for it. 
go. All shopping. Right. <laughs> let's let's do that. We should <laughs> we should do a whole interview of us just shopping together. Definitely, you should walk around and talk to some of the vendors, some of the favorite people, some of the people that you um that you think are cool or unique or that like you know what I mean that something you're into or you think that your fan base would be interested in. Also, like your site, like you guys should come out the fucking chiller. Truthfully, there's so much going on here. Look at the look at the the scary. Cl the scary clowns, yeah. I'm I know. scared of him. He keeps on trying to fucking come say hi to me. Ooh, he makes his me cringe, right. and I'm uh -oh, fucking nervous uh -oh. about Look who's shit. coming to say hi. Guess I'm, what? I'm Everybody's gonna... scared of me. <laughs> <laughs> you have a clown fear? You know what? I watched um, the Stephen King movie. It was. Uh, it, it, that's right. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> And I, I was so fucking scared of that movie. So when I, I never thought I was really scared of clowns until I just fucking saw him right now. And like earlier, he came up and like breathed in my neck, and I was like, oh my god, it's a great experience, though, you guys. You should definitely check out the convention. I agree. I agree. So um, when you're, what do you like to do on your spare time? When you're not shooting, when you're just relaxing, what do you like to do? I like to scrapbook and fucking um, work on my house. I'm a super homebody. Super duper homebody, like seriously, those two things, and I like to travel, and the beach. All right, what are some of your favorite places you've traveled to? Hmm. I think it all depends on who you're with. Um, in regards to cool shit, like I like Hawaii. I, I mean, a lot of the the um, the ones that you always hear. You know what I mean? Uh, where did I go that was really cool? I Jersey like every time I come out to New Jersey I fucking have a great time all right. and I'm not just saying that because we're here you know what I mean like to the exoticas to all the different conventions to the clubs that I've worked at out here and everything it's just like a great fucking vibe a great vibe so um, a lot of the state stuff and then um where did I go that was really pretty Czech Republic like I went when it was cold as shit outside and you know little icicles and stuff like that it was beautiful 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 Italy Italy's Gorgeous. I liked Venice. Venice was my favorite. To to Italy. I'm half Italian, but I've never gotten to get so good. At oh man! You know what? I tried a cruise. A cruise that stopped at all the different spots. Okay. You should try that. That right. then you'd get a taste of everything, and you kind of it might be a little idea. less expensive than you know. Sure. Oh. I'll, I'll look into it. Yeah, you, definitely check it out. And being a New Yorker, I have to ask. I know you mentioned Jersey, but what about New York? You love oh, I New love York? New York. Yeah. Yeah, I would just, I, I like the East Coast. I mean, I'm from Seattle, Washington, but ultimately, like, when I come over here, it's a different vibe, and I, 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 I love it. I love it. I love Seattle, too. I'm going there next week, so nice. I love everything. <laughs> All right. Love, 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 love. <laughs> you are clearly a happy person, and you are awesome. You are awesome. You've made my day. Thank now, do you have any final words uh, for uh, my viewers? Keep watching this guy. Tell him to go show you some of the vendors and all that good stuff. Um... Follow me on Twitter, at the real Gianna. Check out my site, GiannaXXX.com. And love, 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 love. Love life. Fuck it. We all live once. Now let's go shopping. <laughs> you are awesome. Thank you so much, Thank Gianna. You. Thank you.